Hey everybody, Tin Man here. Welcome to my easy cooking channel. Today I'm going to make some beef stew in the crock pot. So I have about a pound and a quarter of beef stew meat. Found that in the discount bin at Safeway for 30% off. Been finding some good uh, deals at Safeway lately. Now I'm just going to cut up uh, five red potatoes, dump in a bag of baby carrots, and I also found some green beans in the fridge that should be used, so I might as well throw those in too. I was just going to use the potatoes, the carrots, and the meat, but we'll put the green beans in too. So, um, And for uh, the broth, I'm going to use cream of mushroom soup, so I have two cans of that. So let me get all this stuff prepped and we'll get it in there. Okay, I put my two cans of mushroom soup in there and one can of water so far. I'm not sure if I'll need one or two cans of water. So this stew meat is nice and lean, so I'm just gonna put that in there like that. No, no need to trim it or brown it. My channel is the easy cooking channel, not the gourmet cooking channel. Do this as easy as possible. I cut those red potatoes up and I left them in pretty good sized chunks. So we'll just put those in there. Uh, let's see. And the baby carrots, they're all cut up. Or we don't need to cut those up any smaller, they'll be fine. Just like that. Now, these green beans, they were a pain to cut up. So if you wanna keep it simple, <laughs> don't use green beans. I had them in there, so I'm using them, but they're kinda of a lot of work to cut up. All right, now, um, since I don't want to cut up an onion, I'm just going to dump some onion powder in there. I don't know, it's probably, I got half a tablespoon or so. And we'll sprinkle a little garlic powder in there. I don't know, just sprinkle some like that. And um, I think we're going to need the other can of water. It looks kind of dry. Okay, I'm just gonna mix all that up and then we'll get the lid on there. Okay, that looks good. I got everything all mixed together. And I didn't put any salt and pepper in that. Um, I'll just taste it at the end. You can add that at the end. Um, now I'm gonna turn this to high. It'll probably take three or four hours. Now, um, if you're going to work or school or something, you're gonna be gone all day, then probably just put it on low. All right. Today is Sunday and I'm going to watch a football game this afternoon, so now I'll have something to eat later. So we'll come back later on when it's done. All right, it's been about five hours and our stew turned out really good here. Um, it's really, really hot. I put some into a bowl. I've already tasted it, so I know it's good, but um, there's how it looks up close. I put some pepper and some grated Romano cheese on there. But like I said, it's really hot, so I'm not going to take a bite of it, but it's delicious. Thank you for watching, you guys, and I'll talk to you next time.